Hey Royal Family, welcome to my General Hospital Daytime Drama Channel. I am your hostess, the Daytime Drama Queen. I have your General Hospital Recap for Thursday, August 3rd. Now, let's get into it. We see Jocelyn Jacks working at Kelly's Diner. Spencer Cassadine, Esme Prince, and Baby Ace come in. Christina Corinthos is also there. When she sees Ace, she gushes about him. Oh my God! Is that my cute little baby Ace cousin? Hi! Oh, look at you. You are so adorable. Oh my, Spencer, you are right. He is so cute. I cannot believe it has taken me so long to meet you. Yes. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm your cousin. It's so nice to meet you. Christina then goes over to see Jocelyn and tells Jocelyn, you should be working at Charlie's. Jocelyn says, no way. Sonny and Nina hang out there. Christina leaves in a huff. Charlie's is not that bad. It's the same thing as Kelly. It's just with alcohol. Right, but that's where Sonny tends to go with Nina. So, hard pass. Jocelyn and Christina don't seem to like each other very much. What's their deal? Esme then asked Spencer, what was that all about? Jocelyn then goes over to them and tells Esme, if you have anything to say about me, ask me. Esme and Ace then leave. If you have something to ask me, please ask me, not Spencer. Okay, then. What's the deal with you and Christina? Why don't you two like each other? Oh, well, the answer is simple, and it's none of your business. Come on, Jocelyn, don't be like that, okay? It's not like it's a state secret. Christina is Team Sunny, and she's Team Carly. Sure. In my opinion, I just think if you're Team Sunny, then you're a bit misguided. I just like Christina. She treats me like a human being, which is a refreshing choice. I'm going to go take him back to take care, okay? Well, Next, at the home of TJ Ashford, and his wife molly lansing davis we see them talking to a surrogacy specialist the specialists discuss the options christina barges in and says jocelyn is such a bee in your case it would be a donor egg fertilized with tj sperm impregnated through ivf Whereas the traditional surrogate is a surrogate that provides the egg and is genetically related to the fetus. Right, again. I have several traditional surrogates who are willing to supply the egg and be fertilized through IUI. Do you have plans to secure a donor egg? Oh my god, Jocelyn is such a bitch. TJ and Molly are shocked. Molly introduces Christina to the specialist. Christina apologizes and then leaves. After Christina leaves, the specialist informs Molly and TJ that it's time to put together a potential list of candidates for your surrogacy. She then leaves. Back to Kelly's diner. Spencer tells Jocelyn that he is sorry for telling her business to Christina. Spencer then says, I feel sorry for Esme. Esme told me that Christina is the only person that makes her feel like a human being. Jocelyn says it's admirable that he's taking care of Ace, but why is he living with Ace and Esme? She says, why aren't you with Trina? Spencer says that he misses Trina and he tries to be respectful of Trina. But her mother, Portia, told her that she doesn't want me anywhere near her. Jocelyn then suggests, why don't you spend more time with Trina? Christina has made it back to Kelly's and she interjects. Instead of dropping ace off at that daycare why don't you go get ace and esme and go to the park it's such a beautiful day 
Spencer ponders the theory and says that he will go catch up with Esme. Christina then cast Jocelyn a look. The baby ace would much rather be outside, maybe in a park, instead of in a stuffy daycare, right? Yeah, it is a beautiful day. So I think that I'm going to go catch up with Esme and my brother. Good choice. At the Quartermain Mansion, in the kitchen, we see Olivia Quartermain and Eddie Main. Eddie tells Olivia that he doesn't see himself changing any soon. They both chat about old times. Eddie then asks Olivia, what are the names of the clubs that you used to go to? Next, we see Cody Bell and Brooklyn Quartermain in the stables. Brooklyn asks Cody, how bad did Sasha hurt you? Cody says, not bad enough for her to be sent to Ferncliff. Brooklyn says, maybe it's the best place for Sasha. Cody says, I refuse to believe that. How does a sane woman morph into a woman who becomes a delusional train wreck wreck he tells brooklyn that he believes sasha was drugged and that gladys did it gladys cannot be trusted she framed me for stealing that bracelet at the nurse's ball look i can't believe that gladys tried to frame you but i have been around long enough to know that she truly loves sasha and that's good enough for me who's staying at your facility i was hoping to get the uh, visiting hours um yes her name is sasha gilmore what do, you, what do you mean i'm not on the list did sasha get to create her visitors list <laughs> no 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 of course of course gladys corbin made the list next we see ava jerome in Austin Gatlin Holt's office. Ava tells Austin, I think you killed Gordon Stevens, the, get, the dead guy in the alley. Austin says, no, I did not. He says, I don't know anything about it. Austin says that Mason or the people who he works for hurt people like Gordon. He says he has to go. Ava then starts to search his office. Those are patient files. They're very private. You can't do this. This I would have you arrested for. I don't think so. Besides, a dead guy doesn't need privacy. But that's the funny thing. Gordon Stevens, he is nowhere to be found in your files, which means he was never your patient at all. So start talking, Austin. Who was Gordon Stevens to you? At GH, Dex Heller runs into Trina Robinson. Dex tells Trina that Sonny sent him to check on Curtis. He then asks Trina, how is Curtis? Trina says, I don't know. He's refusing to see me. She then apologized. She tells Dex, I barely know you and I share too much information with you. Dex tells Trina that she can feel comfortable sharing with him. Trina then discusses Curtis' predicament of how he can't walk and he's refusing to see her. Trina tells Dex that Marcus Taggart will always be her dad. She said that Curtis protected her in Greenland and that things changed. Dex asked Trina, why did you push Curtis away? He tells her that she may be wrong about this one. Trina says that she has to leave and Dex says, I'll walk you out. That's with your head. Now for Curtis, I mean, he's no longer just this guy who's married to your mom. He's your actual biological father. He's got to kill him that he can't be your protector. Yeah, but I'm not a little girl. Curtis doesn't have to protect me. That doesn't matter to me. Maybe not. But I got to guess that it matters to Curtis. What would you do? I would let Curtis know that you're here for him and then give him space. 
so sitting here for hours isn't the way to go. I'll walk you out. Curtis's hospital room. He is mulling over in his head the various conversations about him not being able to walk. He angrily throws his phone across the room as Stella and Henry walks in. Stella tells Curtis that he is sorry. He tells Curtis, she tells Curtis that the bullet was not meant for him. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. None of this is your fault. What do you, what do you have to be sorry about? Because clearly I upset you with my outburst. Curtis, please, you haven't done anything wrong. That bullet wasn't meant for you. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing anyone can do. Austin Gatlin Holt comes into the room and tells Curtis that he is being discharged tomorrow. Stella continues her pep talk with Curtis. A family whose love is as strong as any army. An army that will support you, care for you, and guide you through this unfortunate circumstance. Unfortunate circumstance? Auntie, I can't walk. It's actually glad you know, rescued me from it. I want to help any way that I can. Was there anything for Dex to see? Whatever we find, we face together. We're sure he wasn't the target. Well, royal family, that's it for today's recap. Please send me your thoughts, your comments, and your theories, and we will discuss at a later time. Until then, this has been the Daytime Drama Queen saying ta-ta.